I've driven past that particular part of the landscape probably about a hundred times and every time I've been moved emotionally. That particular spot is on the border of Jajarung country towards Wamba Wamba country which is central Victorian area and it was on a really hot summer's day that I decided to take a photograph of it. Such a haunting image. I'm an Indigenous woman from Wamba Wamba, Wurtagaya, Deuteroa and Neri Neri country, which are Indigenous Victorian tribes. I've been an artist for about, I think, 37 years. There's a long storyline to my art. And everything that I have done has come from my own childhood, my own experience, from a, a cultural and cross-cultural perspective. All of my work is centred around connection to country, people and space. Every time I do an artwork, I use materials that I think are very immediate to be able to express what I'm trying to express as an artist. I have burnt the trees on my own property and I've moved the charcoal with my hands. I've allowed the natural ash and charcoal to, to move through and breathe on the paper to express how the landscape is or how it is part of me. So often people, when they speak about the environment, they see themselves separate. Breath of the Earth was really to give people that live in a concrete world just a, a doorway to walk into the bush. I decided to take that photograph because it was so significant to me culturally and spiritually. It felt to me like it was a burial ground. A burial ground for the trees, which was still there, but a burial ground in terms of a massacre as well. Out of 38 tribes in Victoria, 17 have been completely genocide. It's a stark reminder that audible pollution, visual pollution, human pollution is such a, a scar on the face of the earth. I use black and white image in the majority of my work always have because black and white image tends to show the truth of the subject. Colour has its own emotion and colour can be um, an intruder. There's quite a grand movement I think for people wanting to take care of the earth. People need to live in harmony with each other and the environment. The trees seem a lot like kind of crooked, twisted people. We all need to be reminded that the real world we live in is not the world of bricks and mortar, uh, but it's the world of, of how, how the world is interpreted by others. It makes me happy when I look at it. I can feel that the world could be so more peaceful. Art is something that people should be able to interpret according to their own backgrounds and their own histories. It moves beyond the realm of words. It breaks down cultural barriers. It can be a witness and testimony for people without a voice and people with a voice.